I'm Nikki, editor of Creative Stamping, and I'm here to tell you all about issue 72, which is a fantastic issue, perfect for summer days and summer crafting. And we have not one, but two fantastic stamp sets. The first one that we have is our By the Seaside stamp set with scenes that you can build and create cards with. And to complement that, we're so thrilled that we've got the RSPB Coastal Bird Stamps with us for this issue. And down here, you've got six perfectly sized stamps of coastal birds that coordinate perfectly and you can mix and match them with your By the Seaside and create fantastic projects. As well as the stamps, we also have four digital stamps four images that you can download and print up yourself. The advantage of these is that you can resize the images and you can rotate the images, flip them, so you can create yourself a whole set of puffins, for example, which is what I did on this card here. The puffin stamp in itself is fantastic, but if you want to make a whole flock of puffins, uh, what you need to do is resize them, flip them, and then you cut them out and you add them to your stamped image. I'm going to do a quick demonstration today to show how I use my distress inks to create tone-on-tone -tone backgrounds like I've done on this card and this card here, and lots of others as well that you'll find in the magazine. And also one of my favourite techniques, which is using distress ink to create little painted images as well. Not only is it quick, it's super easy to do. One of the things I like best about stamping is that you can literally start with everything white. So I have already stamped my focal image for this card and my birthday sentiment. So this has been stamped in Versafine ink so that it will not run when I use my distress inks on it. I'm going to put this to one side for a moment and I'm going to concentrate on making my background look like this. So I'm going to start with tumble glass ink get lots of colour on my ink blending tool. Start from the middle, but remember it's, I'm going to have the middle covered, so I'm not going to fuss too much about what goes in the middle of the card, but I'm going to add some colour all the way around. You don't have to be too fussy because you're just building a blend. Swap that, and we're going in for a darker colour, so I'm going to use weathered wood, and this, you will really see the difference when I bring the darker colour round the side, in from the side, turn the card round if it's easier. Now if you want to avoid inky fingerprints, use some kitchen towel to protect your work. It doesn't matter so much at this point because I'm going to be going over things but you'll see we really are getting darker and darker around the edge. But because I'm going to do tone on tone, I'm actually going to use this ink pad to stamp my detail. Now it's not quite as dark as the other one, but that's okay. What I'm going to stamp first is a shell. So I've put the shell on my block and normally we would say don't use distress ink for stamping with these kind of clear stamps because quite often distress ink is it's wet it's a wet ink so sometimes the ink pools but i do find that when you're stamping onto an area that you've already distressed it works really nicely and you get a really really pretty impression so i'm stamping all around the edge because remember, we're going to have a focal image in the middle, so we don't have to worry too much about that. And you'll find in this set, we've got the shells, we've got the starfish, we've got the birds that you can make background patterns with. So I've swapped to use the starfish now. Very rare that you find me doing a clean and simple feature because I do like to fill my spaces. But I think with something like this, it's filling a space, but you're doing it really, really subtly. And I think that's what works really, really well with distress ink pads. So I haven't even had to spritz these. I'm keeping them nice and soft and I'm just filling in all my spaces. Now, if you think about it, when this picture is going to go here, it just fills everything really nicely. Next, 
I'm colouring this beautiful stamped image of the lady on the beach using my distress inks and a water brush. This stamp is included in the By the Seaside stamp set that comes with the magazine and I love the sketchiness of the images in the set. Plus you get some really gorgeous sentiments for all occasions. These stamps would also be perfect coloured with alcohol markers or even coloured pencils. Now I'm ready to assemble my card and I've inked up my mats in a bold colour to frame this beautiful image of the lady on the beach. Lastly, I'm gluing everything down to my card along with my happy birthday sentiment. And of course, if you want to, you can always add a little friendly seagull to make it a truly summer card. As usual, the magazine is packed full of inspiration from our design team. We've had some features where we've used the birds with the seaside scenes together and some features where it's just the scenes without because these cards are perfect for men, women, all occasion cards and all year round as well. We have a fantastic masterclass in this issue as well with Helen Griffin demonstrating the black eyes technique. We've also got Crafter's Companion, Stamps by Chloe, Wow, with a fantastic feature on heat embossing and using their freestyle tool, which is definitely worth a look at. We've also got a new company called Alpaca Pals and their stamps are so cute. And we have a special offer also from Stamps by Me. You can find your copy in your craft shops, in supermarkets, WH Smiths, or if you wish to go online, go to moremags.com or craftstash.co.uk.